Hey guys, I'm in the potting shed again today. I've got a few jobs to do, so I thought I'd bring you along and uh, share with you what I'm doing. Uh, the first thing I want to do is take a look at this uh, maidenhair fern. It's not looking particularly happy at the moment. Uh, it's drying out really quickly. Where I've got it is getting too much sun, I think. Uh, it's a fern variety, so I think it prefers uh, lesser uh, amounts of sun. Uh, and it's sort of started to go a bit pale. It should be a, a much deeper, uh, darker green. And, it, you know, it's okay, but I think it could look a lot better. And it it's in the potting medium that it came in. And quite often the quality of these are not the best. So as you can see, it dries out in between waterings. It dries out very quickly uh, within a day or so if we have a, a bright day. So um what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and get off as much of this potting medium as I can, put something at slightly better quality, which will hold a little bit more moisture. Uh, being a fern, it likes slightly damper soil, not sogging, not so soaking wet, so to speak, but um, but something that's gonna hold on to the, the, the water a bit better. And um, yeah, I'll find a better place in the house for it as well, where there's a little bit more shade for it. And hopefully it will, uh, it will look a bit better. It's it's a nice looking plant. I like it. So um, I think uh, it'll look nice once we get it back to full health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a slightly bigger pot. It doesn't need a much bigger one, uh, quite frankly. It could probably even stay in this with slightly better pot and me potting medium, but uh, it gives me more space to put more soil in there. So it's going to put it in that size pot. It's only slightly taller slightly wider at the top that's all it is but uh, yeah I'm gonna pop it in there try and get some of the old soil off and uh, see how we get on all I'm doing is just um, just sort of gently going around the root balls, gently sort of tweezing out any loose soil that I can get to. Don't want to damage the roots too much. So just going through it. It is slightly, slightly damper as I go in, which is good, which means there is a bit of moisture retention in here. But yeah, just slowly tweezing the soil out as I go around, giving it a bit of a shake, and that will get a lot of the soil off as you go around you don't want to hurt the roots too much it's got a lot of roots which is good but uh yeah you don't want to damage them so just carefully tweeze the uh the compost out of the roots like this and you could keep going like this and you'll get pretty much all of the soil out it's not really necessary to get it all out but just it exposes enough of the roots for it to grow into some new soil and to uh, hold a little bit more moisture against the soil i think that's going to be enough uh, yep. You could even make some new plants out of this. There's definitely some some uh, new plant material if I wanted to pull a few sections that have got root with it here. You could certainly do that. That's a that's its own plant on its own there. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. But you could pull that out and start a new plant. Um, I won't do that today because I want to make this as big and bushy as possible. So that's it, I think. I managed to tank out quite a lot of the roots. There we go, get into the light. A lot of the soil, sorry. Probably uh, give us a lot more space in the pot now to uh, put some new soil. I would normally try and plant this into a house plant pot because it's going in the house but I don't have any and the, the appropriate size like this to uh, to put it in. So it's just gonna go in a normal pot. I've put some crocs in the bottom just to cover up some more of the holes and I'm gonna be careful when I water it and put a little drip tray underneath uh, so it doesn't wet any of the windowsills or any of the furniture that I decide to put it on. Uh, you don't always need house plant pots. They look pretty and they can really help the look of a plant, but uh, I've got so many plants uh, I don't really have um, the amount of pots that I need to have everyone in a pot. But, you know, what I usually do is if I'm out and about and I see one that I particularly like that I think will suit this plant, 
then I will often buy the pot for the plant themselves. So it may get a pot one day if I see one that uh, I think suits it. The other thing I want to do really quick is just to soak this root ball because it is quite dry. Uh, so before it goes in the potting uh, media, I just want to give it a good soak to make sure uh, there is enough um, moisture in the roots before it goes in. It, it's, uh, it ensures the roots get moisture rather than just watering it afterwards. There's still going to be a lot of the root that remains dry because it, because it has dried out so much. So I've just gone and got a little bit of water from the pond next door. The fish won't mind, I'm sure. And just filled it up in this little uh, purple pot that I've got here. I'm just going to sit it in that pot now for just five minutes for it to absorb as much water as possible before I put it in the new pot. Alrighty, our ferns had a bit of a soak for a while, so let's get them in the pot. You see, that's nice and wet now. That's going to retain a lot more water once it goes in the pot now. Take it all back, hate the things that you said Cause I wish you didn't mean it I'm under attack, running far, far away I'd rather keep my distance from you You don't got a lot of me to get through Push and pull me off into the deep And let's pretend that nothing ever happened on that repotting a house plant it's always good to just stand back and make sure it's kind of in the middle or it's where you want it make sure it's standing upright because you can get carried away doing it and then when you're finished you look and it's on the wonk it's not always good so it's good to just sit stand back a bit take a look and see how you're getting on halfway through gentle firm around the sides just to make sure all the compost is all the way through the sides of the pot and then just giving it a quick tack just to uh, let the soil settle in the pot. So that will pretty much do it I would say. Much better uh, soil in there now it's going to retain the moisture much better and if you put that together uh, with a slightly better situation that um, is not as harsh sunlight I think this will pick up nicely and again look like a nice pretty maiden hair fern. Alrighty that's it for this video guys I hope you found it useful please give me a thumbs up if you have uh, if you're new around here uh, maybe consider subscribing and I will catch you very soon on another video bye for now. Mm -hmm.